My name is Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of CEPO, one of the civil society delegates to the Nairobi Peace Talks, which is known as Tumaini Initiative, between the Government of National Unity and the oppositions that are non-signatory to the revitalized agreement the resolution of conflict in the Republic of South Sudan, known as R Access. And this particular peace talks is a continuation of the Rome peace processes under the request of His Excellency President Salva, requesting the President of Kenya, William Ruto, to help in mediating a peace between the government of national unity and the opposition parties that are non signed to the revitalized peace agreement. And we have seen the process going on progressively. We are almost there towards the finishing line. But unfortunately, we have seen already other political elites' voices that are merging in the spirit of either questioning the peace process in Nairobi under the Tumaini Initiative or undermine the Nairobi peace processes. I would like to assure the citizens that what we are doing here in Nairobi, we are looking at our access by its provisions in line or together with the Declaration of Principle, what is known as DOP of Rome, which was signed between the government and the parties that non to the Revitalized Peace Agreement four years ago. So in Nairobi, we are not replacing our access. In Nairobi, we are not undermining our access. But in Nairobi, we are focusing on generating a political framework that is implementable by nature in a genuine and timely manner for transitioning our country from the situation that we are in now, which is described by instability, to a situation of stability or from violence to peace. I would like to take this opportunity to appeal to political elites that we are aware that the political class of South Sudan have opted to create a political culture that the search for peace and stability in South Sudan have to be in pieces. What I term as peace in pieces. We will continue searching for peace in pieces if also our political elites have developed positive political attitudes toward taking responsibility that the best interest of making peace and stability to exist is to respond to the needs of the citizens. Citizens want to see peace and stability. But this political culture of always confrontation or contradicting or questioning or undermining or building public opinion to generate mistrust and lack of confidence on Nairobi peace talks is not encouraging, it's discouraging. And my message to the political leaders that are raising messages that may undermine Tumaini Initiative or may make to many initiative not to be trusted by the public, I'm appealing to them that give peace and stability chance in the country. We are tired of the political instability. You may not feel the hardship that citizens are getting because you may have other privileges that make you isolated and different from the common citizens. So as a political elite, moments has come for you to give chance for peace and stability to prevail in the country. So my appeal to citizens is that let us pray hard. Let us appeal to the powers of heaven, whether through the Quran or the Bible, to make our politicians and the Tumaini Initiative reach a political framework that will make the country transition from violence to peace. As I repeat myself, we are there almost towards the finishing line. The progress here is encouraging. The spirit here is encouraging. And the political leaders here have shown their commitment to the declaration of commitment that was signed as the first document of rolling out to Maini initiative. So I'm appealing to citizens, let's abstain from hostile propaganda, from hate speech, from false information, from creating information that are not in support of the Tumaini initiative. Moment has come, let us show political maturity and political discipline that will make us reach some political consensus for transitioning our country from violence to peace. Thank you very much.